Hi, today we will be talking about flow throughout the heart and normal sinus rhythm. So as you can see here, here's a diagram of the heart with some extra parts that you may not know about. So we, so we have the basics, this is the septum, this is the right atrium, this is the right ventricle, this is the left atrium, and this is the left ventricle. Now we also know that this is the tricuspid valve, this is the mitral valve, and then this is the pulmonic valve, also known as the right semilunar valve. And then here we have the aortic valve, or the right semi, sorry, the left semilunar valve. So these are the pulmonary arteries, and then these are the pulmonary veins, and that's the aorta. And then this is the superior vena cava, and that's the inferior vena cava. So that's the basics. Okay. So what I'm going to introduce you to is the flow throughout the heart. So, so basically, we're going to start our journey at the superior and inferior vena cava. So, I would come down through here and here, and then I would start filling up this. And then I would go into here, and then be pushed out into here, all the way into the lungs to get oxygenated. Then, when I come back, I'm going to go in through the pul pulmonary vein and then I'm going to start filling in this, eight, this left atrium. Then I'm going to go down here and fill up the left ventricle. Now as you can see or notice, the muscle here is bigger because I need to push blood all the way out to all the organs in the body. So basically, essentially the whole body. And I go out the aortic valve into the systemic circuit and then I get pushed through the aorta and delivered to the body. Now, I'm going to introduce you to four new items in the heart. So. The first item we have is the SA node. So SA stands for sinoatrial. So this is the sinoatrial node. And then down and then over here we have the AV node. AV stands for atrioventricular. So this is the atrioventricular node. Then somewhere behind the septum that I've drawn here is the bundle of his. And then right here, this green part that you see, this is the Purkinje fibers. So all of these items are engaged in a system called normal sinus rhythm. So basically, the, the vector of flow goes from here to here. So, so here's the trail. So we start at the SA node and then we go into this AV node, or if you want to put it in word form, sinoatrial node into the atrioventricular node. Then we come down here into the bundle of Hiss. Then this will send an electrical signal to the Purkinje fibers to make the ventricles contract and send blood through the, uh, sorry, sorry, sorry through the aorta. So here we have a diagram of a normal sinus rhythm. This is the rhythm you, you would normally see on an EKG, which basically measures, so an EKG, which is basically a machine that measures the difference in electrical charge between between um, the um, the um, 
electrical system in the heart. So here we have, so here, um, wait, just so you know, this axis is voltage. And then this axis is time. So each box here, this represents 0 0.04 seconds. So you could do the math and figure out that one whole square is 0.2 seconds. Okay, now that we got that covered, we have, so when we look onto an EKG, the first wave that we will see is called the P wave. Then there's like, it lasts for 0.8 seconds. And then, and then there's a point, no wait, 0.08 seconds. And then here, there's a 0.02 second um, delay. Then we get to the Q wave. But, and so, the interval between the P and Q wave is called the P, the P, sorry, sorry, the P, R, interval, interval. Now, you might be saying, well, why is it called the P, R, interval when it's going from the P wave to the Q wave? Well, keep in mind that on AKG, you, you might not even notice the Q wave. And so when we get here, we all, we all just go to the R wave. So we call, that's why we call it the, the PR interval. And so this should last for 0.12 seconds. If it lasts for 0.2 seconds or more, there's a problem. So then we have a very high slope here to get to this. This is called the R wave. And then we go sharply down, we get to the S wave. So the time interval between here and here is about 0.08 seconds. And then we get back to um, the midline and then we we go on a 0.08 second break. Then this is the T wave. It it should usually last up about 0.16 seconds. And so this is the presentation on flow throughout the heart and normal sinus rhythm.